welcome to the Early Bird Show. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2023. Please stand for the pledges to the flags. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please join us for a moment of silence. Thank you and please have a seat. Now for today's weather. As you can see outside, it will be, I think it will be partly cloudy with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. Okay, weatherman. Today's lunch options are sausage and egg bagel melt, egg chef salad, and cheese or pepperoni pizza. Yum. Now here's Jump Shot Josh with important information about Booster Fawn. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, friends. Yesterday, we learned all about gratitude, and today we are going to continue on our Grand Land Adventure. Before we get started, we need to do one big Grand Land Adventure cheer all together on the count of three. One, two, three. Grand, Grand Land Adventure. Awesome, friends. So as you saw yesterday, today we are going to the Everglades, and we are going to learn all about stewardship and my friends, last night we had a challenge. The class that had the most friends logged on to mybooster.com would win wrapping me up like a mummy in toilet paper. So if you're ready to find out who our last night's winner is, I need a big drum roll, please. Because, my friends, McDuffie's class in first grade is our winner. Everyone's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. McDuffie, I will be by in just a little bit to find out what a good time to do that challenge is, but until I see you guys later with some more updates, it's Booster out. Today in history, in 1910, the first public radio broadcast takes place. Wow. Wow. Now here's Layla for Win by True. Woo! The average $100 bill keeps being used over and over again for nine years. Wow. wow. That's a long time. Wow. So that's 365 times nine. I have no idea. So cute, I can't. A sloth has formed an adorable relationship with its keeper and refuses to get out of bed until they've had their morning cuddles and a zoo tour. Gordon the sloth from Drusilla's Park in Sussex took a peculiar liking to Amelia Jones when they're when the pair first met two years ago. The unlikely friend started their companionship when Gordon be began behaving differently around Amelia than he did with all the other keepers. From there, their relationship bl blossomed and now Gordon won't even get out of bed until he's been cradled like a baby by his favorite zookeeper. Wow. That's such a horrible thing. Now here's Kingston and Archer for the joke of the day. What you call what what you call a pencil with two erasers? I don't know what. Man, pointless. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today. Let's say our motto together. Doing, Doing your best, best is the key to success. success. I, I choose, choose excellence. excellence. I'm Everett. And I'm Bailey. Yes, Where's Larry? Where's, Where's Fiona? Until, Until next time. Fly high, Falcons. Bump it up, bump, 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 bump.